So when it comes to music, you know, you always want to set the mood for the right environment and the right tone and all different types of videos are going to require different types of music. But like I said, the big thing that we want to focus on with the music is going to be the vibe and the feel of what we're trying to interject into the video, because as we'll see throughout this process that different tracks will make the video feel a lot different. So the way I like to do this, we go over sound stripes account that we use and I'll start off with, you know, let's look at some, let's just like in beach beach vibes see what comes up so they already have a playlist for us perfect now what i'm looking for so this one's not a bad one i've actually used this track before so let me just show you normally what i do is this i'll go to the beginning of the video i'll hit play so right now as you can tell like this song's a little bit slow for what we're looking here Not the vibe, right? No. That one's not bad. I think it's closer to what I'm, I'm looking for. This one was getting close. We always want to find, you know, tracks that have, I don't know, like we'll call it peaks and valleys that have buildups. We, we always need a beginning, middle, and end with the track. So a big mistake I see with newer editors is that they find a track that sounds good, but the flow of it is constant like this. There's never any ups and downs. And that's something that you need. Every, what makes great stories are beginning, middles, and ends. So keep that in mind. So at this point here, you know, I already looked through a couple of songs and I'm not really finding anything here that really fits in what I'm looking for. Let me try this playlist. So when I'm looking through a playlist and I'm not finding the things that I'm looking for, what I'll do is try to find a different folder or try finding a different keyword that might fit what I'm looking for is because right now we already went through about 10 songs. None of the songs really fit what I was looking for. So there's no point of keep going down that rabbit hole. So, you know, this time I'm looking at a different playlist to see if this for find something that fits more of what I'm seeking. Okay, so this one's not a bad track. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna figure out which one of these I didn't like the instru the vocals for this one. So I'm gonna look for the track with just the instrumentals. So it's the last one there. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this track. I'm gonna go to alternate versions and then find that one. I always try to use uh wave files. Sometimes MP3s come out sounding distorted inside of um Premiere Pro. So using wave, we know that we're gonna find the best ones. So the other thing I like to do, we'll come on here, Benny's on the beach. We'll go ahead and do assets, and then instead of assets, we'll go put in music and we'll save that there so what i do at this point is i keep looking for more songs i want to have a couple different options Okay, so let's go back to music. Let's see what's recently added. As you guys can tell, just playing this song over that video, it's a totally different vibe. The, of course, it doesn't fit, but you could tell how music can play such a big driver and how your edit feels. I thought this one was it. It had the beginning of what I was looking for, but then this segment here, I'm kind of just like, eh.
I think this is a fun song, right? I don't know if it'll, it'll fit, but I'm gonna download it just to have it to see if, you know, well, when we end up polishing the edit, maybe we can make it work. But this is the kind of vibe that we're looking for this place, right? The goal of this video is to help them attract more people to come to brunch. So at this point, you just repeat this process, try to find four, at least five tracks that you think might work for the video. And then from here, we'll wrap up this chapter until we actually start editing the song with the video.